Hi, it's Caitlin and I'm here today with some thoughts on a new to me brand of nail polish. So Mooncat is by no means a new brand. I just bought these polishes almost six months ago and I'm finally getting around to trying them out, wearing them, and I thought I would share my thoughts with you. I feel like I pretty much only ever share nail polishes that I'm sent as PR, but I actually bought these and I don't know. I know that a lot of people have posted reviews and so you've probably seen and heard a lot about the brand, but I'm just gonna give my thoughts and opinions on the polishes that I tried from my perspective. And uh, little known, or maybe everybody knows this, but Mooncat is actually a rebrand of Live Love Polish, which was around for years. So this brand definitely knows what they're doing and they offer some really great polishes. So Mooncat is not an indie brand. I don't think that they claim to be. I'm sure they sort of classify themselves more in that boutique range of nail polish. And so I'm, as you know, very much like an indie diehard. So that's sort of my point of comparison when I was trying these polishes. And I will say I liked what I tried, but my one sort of gripe with Mooncat is their handle and brush. Their packaging and their bottles are absolutely beautiful, but from an accessibility and functionality standpoint, it just was a struggle for me. And I've been painting my own nails for like 20 years, so I am very well acquainted with how to properly paint your nails, how to, you know, prevent dripping and excess runoff on the stem and the brush, but I just found that the shape and sort of format of the Mooncat bottle, the stem, and the brush made it really difficult for me to not flood my cuticles and just get way more polish than I wanted on my nail. It looks great, don't get me wrong, but I think it's more of a style over function choice. And that works for some people, but it didn't work for me, even though I do like the polishes. So I will link Mooncat down in the description if you want to check them out. I don't have any affiliate codes or anything. Um, I bought these by myself, as I said, and um, I guess if you like this video, then like it and subscribe to my channel if you want, but let's get into the nail polish. So I actually picked up the entire um, Heavy is the Crown collection, so I will show that off first. The first polish that you're seeing right here is called Not Today Satan, and this one is a baby pink linear holographic nail lacquer, and this polish is super holographic so you will see what I mean shortly but this is one of the strongest linear hollows I've probably ever worn and as with any linear holographic you're always best to let it dry down fully to get the strongest linear holographic effect and I actually didn't put top coat on this because every top coat kind of dulled it so this one is most holographic on its own in two coats, as you're seeing here in the sun. You definitely get all of those rainbows. They're just so beautiful. And here it is under artificial lighting, and it still looks so rainbowy. Next up is Venus Flytrap, and this one is described as a magenta linear holographic lacquer. So this one also has a really good formula that I would recommend building up in two coats. As you can see, this is a really rich, beautiful, berry sort of base color, and it does apply really easily. So as you can see here, it deepens with that second coat. It's a really rich sort of berry shade, and again, very strong linear holographic effect, though not as strong as Not Today Satan. Here it is in direct sunlight. You can see all of those rainbows just popping off of my nail. And I really was impressed by how sparkly and holographic this one is. As you can see here, this is under artificial lighting and it's still really rainbowy. So the next one from the Heavy as the Crown collection is called Shattered Glass. And I was really excited about this one because I just love lilac linear hollows. 
and this one is pretty good. I don't know if it's my favorite, but um, it's still really beautiful. So this one starts off quite sheer, but it does build up relatively well in two coats. Some people might need three, but I think two will be sufficient for most. And this one is a really beautiful shade of lilac. Um, it's really delicate and ethereal, which is a word I often use here on my channel. I just love that kind of effect. And the linear hollow in this one is very strong. It's a close second to Not Today Satan, which definitely had the strongest effect of all the hollows I tried. So here it is in the sun. Once again, it's so beautiful with the rainbows that just really are really visible on the nail. And it's a really beautiful base color with that lilac. Here we have Anti-Fragile, and this is another polish in the Heavy is the Crown set. And this one is described as a Indigo Linear Holographic Lacquer. So this one, again, has a good formula. It's easy to build up on the nail. Um, again, as I mentioned in the beginning of my video, I found that with just the way that the bottle is constructed, particularly the stem of the brush, I sometimes ended up overloading my brush, not intentionally, so hopefully I can find a way to make the bottle work for me because I do really like these hollows. As you can see, this one is very opaque on the second coat. It's a really beautiful rich indigo shade and the linear holographic effect is pretty strong once it dries down, as you can see here. And in the sun, this one in comparison to Not Today Satan is definitely not as linear -y and rainbowy, but it's obviously still pretty strong as an effect overall. But obviously with deeper shades, the base eats up more of that holographic pigment. And the last polish in the Heavy is the Crown collection is Boa Constrictor. And this one is described as a chocolate linear holographic. So I have become, not obsessed, but I really have been liking brown nail polishes lately and I've sort of been seeking them out. And this is one of the few that I have seen and it is quite beautiful. So this one has a really beautiful chocolatey brown base, but there's something kind of golden that the holographic adds to it and I just think it's a gorgeous complement to the base color and overall once this one builds up in two coats it has a really strong linear holographic effect as you can see here and it's just really rich and gorgeous and quite unique in my collection. You don't see a lot of brown linear hollows so I'm really happy to have this one and as you can see here in the sun it's really rainbowy. So now we're moving on to another linear hollow that I just had to pick up because I love black nail polish and black linear hollows in particular. So this one's called Cruel Mirage and it's a black linear holographic that is pretty straightforward, but it's a really beautiful color and apparently it used to be called Focused, but it was renamed as Cruel Mirage. So... This one builds up really nicely in two coats and for a black linear hollow, it does have a really strong rainbow effect, which I appreciate. And this is another one that you will want to dry down fully. So here as it dries down fully, you can see just how much stronger that linear holographic effect becomes. And this one is super rainbowy for such a deep color. I'm really impressed with how the hollow shows up and I just absolutely love this one in the sun. I think it's a really beautiful nail polish and it has a really good formula. And now we're moving on to something that isn't a linear hollow. It's called Curiosity's Prey and this one is a white jelly lacquer filled with pink, orange, and green iridescent flakies and indigo iridescent shimmer. So this is one of their best sellers on their website and they do recommend 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 one or two coats only and 
I absolutely love how this one looks in one coat or two coats, but I did also build it up to three for anyone who wanted to see how it would look more opaque. So it is really beautiful in two. It definitely almost gives you a really fun and edgy twist on like a French manicure. And it does build up to almost opacity in three coats. So this is a polish that I think would look really good with a matte top coat, but it also looks good with a glossy top coat as I'm showing you here. Those iridescent flakes really pick up the sun, which is how you're seeing it right here in the sun. It's just really ethereal and delicate and beautiful and it looks like pearls on your nails. I particularly love the color of these iridescent flakes. It's just a really gorgeous combo and I think I'm going to wear this one in one coat very, very soon. And last but not least, we have Moon Dust, which is a holographic topper. So this is a clear topper filled with silver micro holographic glitter to add a scattering of light to any lacquer you layer underneath. And this one unfortunately dried really textured, which kind of annoyed me. So I just put it over another manicure, but I was kind of surprised by how textured it dried. So I needed a pretty thick layer of glossy top coat to smooth it out. Um, I guess I'm just used to flakes, but this is more of a hollow glitter, but it looks really pretty. So out of the polishes that I purchased, I would say that Not Today Satan is incredible. I don't know what it is about that particular polish, but the linear hollow effect was just so strong. One of the strongest I've ever experienced. And I just didn't get that level in the other hollows I tried. I wanted them to be there, but none of them met Not Today Satan at that same level. And I also did really like Curiosity's Prey. Um, would I say it's any better than any of my favorite indie flaky polishes? Absolutely not, but it's definitely very beautiful and you know I love a white polish, so I definitely would recommend that one. And I know that Mooncat has done a ton of really interesting polishes since I picked these up, like I said, six or more months ago. So um, let me know in the comments what your favorite Mooncat lacquers are. Let me know if you, um, love the brand if you hate the brand let me know your thoughts i'd love to hear your opinions and i guess that's it for me have a great day wherever you are and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye